Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all the praises and the glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Rakafi Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rikar Kodash. I want to give double honors to our beloved teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers. Pushing this true doctrine throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives. Week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the 144 governing body of men. And Shalom to the hopeful elect of the one third of men, women, and children. All the praises is forever given to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Amen. So be true. Now, this is like um, a testimony, short testimony. The time is drawing near. Yeah? We must believe that the time is getting closer and closer for Yahushai to return. Now, yesterday at camp, you know, brothers were pointing out chariots. There's a chariot there, there's a chariot there. You know? And you see, nothing can stop this truth. Because within about a year or so, we've moved about three or four different places. And you know, Esau is a liar. Because they always change the rules and regulations. So we just have to, you know, move. Okay? So no matter where we go, right, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahusha, we always see chariots, right? Just like yesterday, during camp, you know, brothers are pointing out chariots. And um, after camp, right, we had a little a study lesson, all right? We talk about the scriptures and we try to break it down, you know, the correct way. All right. And I want to talk about the word belief. Believe. And I speak about, I'm speaking to myself too. We have to always believe. Right? Believe in the scriptures, believe in what we have been taught from our heads, from our apostles. Believe. Elder Pastor Gabar has done various lessons to say believe. We have to believe in Yahweh Basham Yahshai. All right? And this is where the faith comes in, which is a gift. It's a gift, that faith. To believe. Yeah, so one of the brothers, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> the brothers are asking questions. And my brother beside me, Ariel, he answered the question, but he sort of like st stood back a little bit. He answered it correctly, but he stood back. And the brother Yeramia got angry. He said, brother. Start believing in yourself. You said the answer correct. Believe in yourself. Right? Because it's all about believing. You're studying. You're with the brotherhood. You're under the correct umbrella of, of GMS. You're being guided the correct way. Believe in yourself. Believe. But we know it's not according to your own vain opinion. It's not. It's according to the Holy Spirit. It's according to what you've been taught. It's according to what you've been learned. And you have to be fully persuaded. So when I saw Yeramia said to the brother, Brother, believe in yourself. Start believing in yourself. And brother, he, just, he stood back and goes, Yeah, it's true. It's true. So this is just 
a reminder that we must believe. All right? And that belief is a gift from the Lord, our Heavenly Father. A gift. So about 20, it's about half an hour later. All right? About half an hour later. You know, you know, the questions have been going around, asking questions, you know, going through the, the scriptures. Then, all of a sudden, I saw this massive light, a massive, massive light. Is either it appeared? Now, I'm going to, I'm not exaggerating. It's about three stories high. Well, three stories high, right? Because it was low. Imagine three stories high is very low. What I saw was about three stories high. And I'm not exaggerating. It was must have been about a hundred, I can't, a hundred yards. It was so massive because I had on my glasses and it filled up the hole of my glasses. It went shoom. It's either it reappeared and it disappeared or it went zoom like that. Bright, filled the whole sky. But what amazed me, it was so wide. Wide, wide, wide. So I said to myself, am I seeing right there? No. Am I seeing right? Then after about two seconds, brother Arya beside me, he said, did you see that? Did you see that? And I said, brother, you saw it too? Did you see it? He said, did you see that bright? Man, brother, listen, if you, if my brother was with me right now, you prove it. Right? The thing was so massive. It was a chariot. And it was massive. Massive, not massive. So I, I thought, I said, no, I'm not seeing right. Until he confirmed it. He confirmed it. And I said, yes, I saw it too. He saw it too. And I believed. I believed what I saw. Because you see, what, 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 what these, what Satan wants to do sometimes, most times, is try to put doubt in your mind. All right? Because now we're in the end times now. You're going to have a lot of spirits going to try to try to turn your way of your belief. And Elder Apostle Gabar, as I said before, if I think if I remembered, all the apostles keep on doing lessons. Believe, believe, believe. Believe in what you read. Believe in what you study. Believe in our teachers. And to prove that they are genuine teachers because they said, whatever we say to you, go and check it up for yourself. All right? It's not that no other camps, you know, they don't, they don't tell you, right? When they're doing their, 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 their lessons, they, 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 they say no comments on the comment board. You know what I mean? That's not right. But through our teachers, right? They accept the, the, the comments from the comic board. All the scriptures. You put up scriptures. Okay? So we have to believe in our teachers. Alright? You have to be fully persuaded. So, it was, a, it was nice. If my beloved brothers were hearing me right now, he would confirm and say, Did you see that? Did you see that? That's the lowest chariot I've ever seen. Well, three, well, three stories high. And it filled, it filled my glasses, right? You know when you see a light? But no, it filled the whole of my glasses. It's like lightning. Until my brother confirmed it. Did you see that? Did you see that? And I said, yes. I'm going back to the brother, the beloved brother, Yeramia. Believe, brother, believe. You must believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. So that's just a, a testimony, a short testimony, right? 
So we have to believe in Yahweh Ba'ashan, Yahweh Shai. As it is written, as it is written, believe in Yahweh Ba'ashan, Yahweh Shai. Right? So, the word of Yahweh Ba'ashan, Yahweh Shai for, you know, encouraging us. Right? So I want to talk about believe. So let's start with the first scripture. Let's go to John, John 7 verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly, which is your mind, shall flow rivers of living water. Our Heavenly Father is about the living, it's not about the dead. And it says, out of your belly, out of his belly, which is your mind, shall flow rivers, not like one river. And I thought about this in the spirit. One angel, one angel can destroy the whole of his earth. One angel. So you can imagine when Yahweh Shai is returning, he's going to return with the armies, the host. The host, the armies. All the angels, the skies are going to be. Ooh Listen, so he says, out of his belly shall flow rivers. He didn't say river. No, that's why I said one angel can destroy this whole earth. And he said river. He didn't say river. He said rivers. Many, 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 many rivers. Pure, pure water. Living water. He that believe it is about the belief. You have to believe that. We have to believe that. And continue to believe. Because now is the time, right? Putin is starting to get involved now in this war now, and that is a good sure source sign. Putin is getting involved. Brakathi how about Sham Yao Shai? He that believe on me as the scripture have said. You see, it's not about our vain opinion, it's about the holy scriptures. Out of his belly, which is in mind, shall flow rivers of living water. So we're talking about the word belief. Belief. I can't get it. My brother said, brother, you must believe. You must believe in yourself. Believe. Right? But we know it's not based on our vain opinion. According to the scriptures. According to the Holy Spirit. According to the teachings. All right? According to the true doctrine. Right, so let's go to the, let's, I went to the etymology online first to check out the word believe. And it says, hold on a second. Right, went to the etymology online. Why did I cut out now? That's, I don't even have to type it back in again. Anyway, for, for, for time, right? Let me try to do it. I apologize for this. I apologize. See, every time you want to try to do something, that's, that's you know. Um, Right, so this etymology online for the word believe. Right? So it says to have faith or confidence. Right? And skim it through. It says the meaning to pers be persuaded of the truth of what? A doctrine system religion but we we not we do we don't believe in religion right a doctrine system etc all right that was the etymology online so then i went to google and it says believe be convinced by i'm going to read some words be convinced by trust and that's spiritual because the first one is be convinced the second one is trust and i get back to that in a second 
have confidence in. Consider honest. Consider truthful. Regard as true. This is the word believe, you know. Accept as true. Accept. Give credence to. Credit. Give credit to. Think. Be of the opinion that, well, I'm not sure about that part because it's not a base on our, I might be reading it wrong, it's not based on our vain opinion, right? Think it like that. Have an idea that. Imagine, woo! Now, going back to El Apostle Gabar again, he talks about when we read in his scriptures, we have to imagine, we have to visualize what we're reading. Then we have to believe, believe what we are reading. Feel, have a feeling, hold, maintain, suspect, suppose, assume. All right, those are the few words. So going back to the top again, be convinced by, and the next one is, is, is trust. Okay? So, what is another word for um, convinced? Right? Because he said the first one is to, to be convinced. What's another word for convinced? It says persuade, satisfy, prove to, cause to feel certain, cause to feel certain, assure, reassure, put, set someone's mind at rest. Can you imagine? You're at rest and peace when you are fully persuaded. Because you're not your mind is not unbalanced. You're fully persuaded. In what you're learning. All right. Like the, the name of the Lord. Yeah, we believe in the name of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Put set someone's mind at rest. We believe that's the name of the Lord. We trust in the name of the Lord. In, the, in our darkest hour, we're going to call upon the name of the Lord. Who taught us those names? Our apostles. And the last one, is, the last one says, Dispel someone's doubts. Dispel someone's doubt. Because when you believe in something, you have to be doubtful. Believe. Because I saw that chariot. It was so massive. I'm not exaggerating. About a hundred yards long. Massive. And two seconds later, my brother confirmed it. Then I said, let me believe. Believe in ourselves. Through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Right. So where am, I, where am I going next? Let's get this scripture here. In Romans 4. Verse 16 to 25. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace. To the end, the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but that to that which is of the faith. Of Abraham, whom is the father of all of us all, right? It's all about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? But Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, as it is written, according to the Holy Scriptures, right? I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed. You see the word believed? Even God who quickened the dead and called those things which, which be not as though they were. Hold on a second, please. As they were. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he cons this is what it is. The Lord does not want us to be weak in faith. No, 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 no. You see this flesh? It wants to keep us down all the time. Weak. The spirit and the flesh is this warring in each other. War, 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 war. That's the competition of the battle. You have the faith, but he keeps on fighting to put you down. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own 
body now dead when he was about an hundred years old neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb you see how I'm getting there I'm getting there he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to Yahweh Basham Yahushai giving glory to Yahweh Basham Yahushai giving to glory to Yahweh Basham Yahushai listen now here we go now and being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able also to perform and being fully persuaded convinced you trust in the Lord Oi, let me come back to some of the words yeah you be convinced trust you have confidence consider honest honest regard as true accept as true there's no other way give credence to All right let's go back before I get too excited and touch a wrong button here and being fully persuaded convinced belief that what he had promised he was able also to perform now the Lord has promised us if we serve him we turn back to him sincerely his promise is that he's going to give us the kingdom and it's it is, it is near approaching it is near approaching Lord will we make it yeah listen I was touched so much in the spirit yesterday when I was watching our Elder Apostle Tahar and Street Live Ministry. Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Gabar, and our beloved Elder Bishop Sakharan. Now listen, right? That was so humble of Elder Pastor Ha yesterday. That was so humble. Who do we learn from? Our head teacher, Elder Pastor Ha. Okay? We learn so much, and there's so much more to learn. He taught us the names. That's very important. And it's more to mention through our head apostle come right down to all the apostles. And Elder Pastor Ha said, you go and check it yourself. He said, I'm not saying word for word. He said, I'm not guaranteed. He said that. I'm not guaranteed being of the elect. Imagine that's coming from Elder Apostle to Ha. From Elder Apostle to Har, he said, I am not guaranteed. You know how humble that is? Humble! I am not guaranteed that I am of the elect. I can't remember word for word. Forgive me if I said it wrong. Forgive me. He said he's hope and praying that he's of the elect. I hope and pray too. Because if it wasn't for our apostles, none of us would be here. But first and foremost, it starts from Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. None of us would be here. So that's that's humbling what the apostles said. Yeah? That's humble, man. And therefore, it was imputed to him for righteousness. Now it was not written. Now it was not written for this his sake alone. Oh, listen to me. That it was imputed to him. Listen now. But for us also. To whom it shall be imputed. If we what? Believe on him that raised up Yahushai HaMashiach, our Lord from the dead. Are you getting it? Whom was delivered 
for our offenses. Listen, man, who said that Yahweh Shai must not be worshipped or praised? Who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for what? Our justification. That's powerful, man. Wow. How much time? What a short time. Now I'm going to have to say that again. Who was delivered for our offenses? Yahushai died for us, you know. Yahushai died for us. And was raised again for our justification. Right, listen now. Well, listen to this. This is twofold now. Listen now. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 11. Right? Listen. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Now we are fully persuaded that the Lord is terrible. He's dreadful. Dreadful. He's got a beautiful side to the Lord and there's a balance. He's got a deadly, dangerous side to him and his beloved son. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Okay? But we are made manifest unto the Lord our power and I trust. You see that word again? Trust. The other word for what? The second word, be convinced. Trust is the second word, right? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciences, right? We have to be fully persuaded. We have to believe. We have to be convinced we have to trust in the Lord. Yeah? That faith. Ephesians 2 verse 8. For, great, for by grace are we sa ye saved. Through faith. Because it's a gift of the Lord, you know. That's a gift. And that not of yourselves. So we have to be fully persuaded, fully convinced. That is not of ourselves. It is what? The gift of the Lord. It's the gift of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Right? Like Elder Pastor Ha, he said it so humbly. He said, and you could see the work our apostle. Atars putting in, come down, all the apostles, all the brothers putting in that work. But Elder Pastor Ha humbly said, he says he's not guaranteed that he's the elect. That's humbleness. Lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in who? Yahweh Masha, unto good works. Which God, and if you check out the word God there, it's um, theos. Which God have before ordained that we should walk in them. So we have to try to the best of our ability to follow the law, such as the commandments. Be brotherly. Yeah? Be supportive. Be caring. Yeah? And this is all ordained. And we believe in this. We do believe in this. Because we learn through the scriptures that there's a thing called, there's such thing called reincarnation. We've been here many times. But there's always a beginning where it started. You remember Yahweh has no beginning, no end. Yahweh Shai is Alpha and Omega. He has the, he's the beginning and the end. And this is ordained. So we must have faith. We must believe. And I'm talking to myself too. I'm talking to myself. The time is near. If my beloved brother was right beside me now, 
Brother Aria, he would tell you he saw that. That chariot was so massive and low and it just flashed. So either it, went, it zoomed past or it just reappeared and disappeared. Brokoth Yahweh Basham Yahshai. So, believe in Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Okay? And believe that deliverance is near. So I'm not sure how I'm going to entitle this, but we know we have to, first and foremost, believe in Yahweh Basham Yahshai. And believe, believe, be fully persuaded all the way. Because Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is our trust. All the praises is given to Yahweh Basham Yahushai Rakatha Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rakakwadash. Double honest to our apostles of Great Millstone come down. All the brothers that we labor with, all the brothers that support each other with love and sincerity. Kwam Yasharala, all the praises is given to Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Aman, so be true. So be true. True. Believe. Be fully persuaded. Huh? Let me just say this before. John 7, verse 38. He that believeth on me, believing on Yahweh Basham Yahushai, as the scripture have said. Out of his belly, which is in mind, sh uh, belly shall flow rivers of living water. Shalom, shalom. 